Welcome to Management 3000. Uh, my name is Dr. Chad, and this is a course that's a little bit different than you're used to, so I thought I'd put together a quick walkthrough to show you how it would work. When you first come into the course, you'll need to access the content so that you can begin doing your homework. So in the left menu here, click Content. Now, when this interface loads, you'll notice it's a lot different than what you might used to, be used to seeing. You probably in the past have seen uh, just a list of assignments uh, written down vertically. Uh, in this case, what I've done is I have create an environment where you can choose your own path through the content. So uh, in a traditional course, there are due dates assigned to each assignment. In this course, there are no due dates for assignments. You just have to get enough work done over a period of time. So if you look at what you see in front of you, you see these round circles. Uh, each one of these circles, it's, it's exactly the same thing as what was listed horizontally. I've just put them in circles uh, by category. So this content in this class, uh, we're talking about how to create a successful organization. So we would say that successful organizations are excellent people, effectively aligned with an exceptional idea. So each one of these uh, groups or categories are, uh, are topics in the course related to each one of these ideas. So this block here is related to understanding how people work. This block here is related to understanding how the organization works. And in the middle, you have topics related to understanding how to align people with the idea. Now, uh, so you would like to probably see what's in the content. So as you mouse over each one of these modules, you can see what assignments are in them. So as you mouse around, you'll see a list that kind of should seem sort of familiar. You'll see a list of assignments. So let's go ahead and uh, click on one. Oops, let me pick one there. For this particular assignment, uh, there's a quiz worth 12 points about uh, global cultures. Uh, there's also an optional assignment here. Now, the optional assignment is are worth points but they, uh, you don't have to do them. However, if you don't do, if you don't do any of them, you, you won't be able to get an A. So you kind of can pick and choose optional assignments that are more interesting to you. You won't be able to open optional assignments until you complete the content that's there. However, oftentimes you can't open the content. In this case, you can see that the content is disabled. To figure out what you have to do before you can open this content, you can see this list where it says module prerequisites. And in the list, it'll show you where you have to go if you mouse over this. So to take the Global Cultures module, you have to complete the Groups module. When you mouse over it, the white box goes uh, transparent so you can see behind it. And the assignment that you need to get done first turns orange. So let's click on that. If I click on this Groups now, you can see that, oh, I have to do Understanding Social Processes. It has to be done first. So if I click on Understanding Social Processes, you can see that there's quite a few modules that have to be done first. If we keep following all of these back, what it's going to do is trace us all the way back to this green dot. If you look at the key over here, you'll see that everything that is currently gray is locked, meaning there's a prerequisite you have to complete before you can get into that. Anything that's green, you can access right now and work on. As you begin working on it, uh, you'll get a light blue color when you finish some of the assignments. And when you've completed all the assignments in a module, uh, it'll be a dark blue color. So let's go ahead and see what's in the uh, start here, uh, the green one, so we click on it. And we're going to see a series of uh, quizzes there. The first ones were three points, two points, two points, two points, two points, five points, two points. I'm going to go ahead and open these. And I'll let you take the time to read through what they all are. But each of these is a quiz. Now this quiz, so they have to be taken in order. This first quiz is the introduction to the course. It uh, asks me who you are. I'm not really reading these questions, so don't uh, copy my answers. And then uh, it says, what is next? I'm going to submit the quiz. That will open the next quiz if I refresh this one. I won't go through all of these now. I'm going to skip ahead, but you'll need to complete each one of these assignments. OK, now that I've completed all these assignments, I'll refresh this page. Notice right now I have only one green module. Now notice that the center module has turned blue, indicating that I completed everything. And this one has turned green. This is a new path that's now open to me. Inside here, you'll find the syllabus. I'll jump in and do the syllabus quiz and then skip ahead. OK, now that I've completed the syllabus, I'll refresh the page. And you'll see a few more things open up. So now we have course documents. I really strongly encourage you to open up the frequently asked questions. You should read this page. 
This is such a different course. I've tried to do everything I can to answer the most common questions here. If you still have questions, let me know and I'll update this page. So the last thing I have to do in this module is I have to identify my testing location. I'll skip ahead now and now that I've identified my testing location, I'll refresh the page. All of these are blue now, indicating I've completed everything I need to do there. And notice that this one now is green. I'll come back to that in a minute. The other thing that's turned green is the exams. Uh, now, this is just the instructions so that you can jump in there and find out how the exams work. Each individual exam will require you to complete a series of modules before you can open those exams. Okay, now that this piece of content is open, we'll open it up. It's pretty simple. There is a simple two-point quiz in it. We'll open up. We'll take the quiz. Read through, answer the questions. Now that I've completed the requirements for this module, when I refresh the page, uh, another module opens up. Now, I'm not going to do this too many more times, but I just want to give you a feeling for what happens once we get past this sort of initial bottleneck. So I'm going to open these next two, and then I will jump. I'll go ahead and do those, and then I'll jump ahead and show you what happens. Okay, now that I've completed the requirements for this module, uh, what is organizational behavior? When I refresh the page, I think you'll see a bit of magic happen. Now that we've gotten past the introductory assignments, you'll see that uh, there's a lot of paths that you can go through. The green modules have opened up in a lot of different areas. Uh, and it's up to you now at this point. You can go any direction you want. And that's the way the rest of the course will work. As you complete assignments, uh, other modules will turn green.